for people who say that teaching about slavery is like anti-American or unpatriotic, um, what do you say to, the, to those people? Like, what do you think the, the issue is? It's so infuriating <clears throat> to ignore this like major part of our history. Like it feels unpatriotic not to teach it. It's almost mm -hmm. like, and I feel like it's how we could ignore this. And mm -hmm. not to mention that enslaved people often, or not often, like they built America. Mm -hmm. um, they built literally Wall Street. Yeah. So it's like they built the Capitol building. Yeah, so it's built the White House. Yeah. Yeah. It's like how it's so gross to me that we would ignore it. I think if I were to actually have a conversation with someone, I'd have to like not be so angry about it. Like if mm. I was trying to actually convince somebody, I think I would go back to um, the ideals of the Constitution. And during, so I mean, it's funny. I love teaching my Three Worlds Meet movement or unit, and then the Re American Revolution unit. I'm always like, oh, like <laughs> so bad. Like, I'm sorry, everyone, mm -hmm. um, because it's like the same. You know, we hear the I same know. thing, and I try to, um, I try to frame it a little bit differently, and I frame it into like, okay, these are the ideals that these people were fighting for. And then um, we pull out the ideals like freedom, equality. Um, and I think we look at the, we know, I know we look at the Declaration of Independence, pull out the ideals and we discuss ideals versus reality and like what is an ideal and how we're moving towards like, you know, they were saying we're free, we're fighting for freedom and equality, but we're enslaving people at the same mm -hmm. exact time. And so it's like, this understanding that we're working towards these things and we still are working mm -hmm. towards these things. We haven't mm -hmm. reached them yet. And it's like, I think being just really real and honest about that when teaching about history, but then also like, that would be my argument to somebody who says it's unpatriotic. It's like, well, actually it's the most patriotic mm -hmm. thing because the Declaration of Independence and the constitution are rooted in these ideas and we haven't reached them, but we're fighting mm. for them. And if we don't know that we're, that they're, they're, it's a work in progress, if we don't know where we started and where we came from, like it would be unpatriotic. And so, I don't know, I think too about, I've had like imaginary arguments with people over like Ka Colin Kaepernick, where I'm mm. like, you know, my, my father was in the military mm -hmm. and I know people are like, oh, it's disrespectful to the military. And mm -hmm. it's like, wait, but it actually is what people feel go overseas and fight. Yep. they say freedom equality so like yes. and freedom of speech like all of mm -hmm. that and so it's it's i you know i don't really consider i mean patriotism is such like a strange phrase but mm -hmm. i do feel like the right and conservatives have taken that phrase and made it something that um and twisted it mm -hmm. into something where i'm like well patriotism is to me, fighting for freedom and equality and yes. going out on a protest. And, you know, I don't say I'm patriotic or wear like American mm -hmm. flag stuff, but like that to me is patriotic.